much. From the bottom of my heart, that makes me feel wonderful. That's very nice of you folks. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm the host of The Late Show. My name is Dave Letterman. The most powerful man in American broadcasting. tell you something we had a little discussion with the folks before the show and we have predetermined here tonight there are some folks visiting from out of town i just want to say one thing right now the streets of new york city are safe the streets of new york city have never been safer they have arrested the zodiac killer they have arrested former yankee steve howe the streets have never never been safer So, uh, did you hear about this? Steve Howe uh, pitched a reliever uh, from the uh, New York Yankees and cut, I guess, from the team about a week ago and, and was tossed out of baseball seven times over the weekend. <laughs> over the weekend, Steve and his family have some travel plans. It's like a getaway weekend. They catch Steve at the airport with a loaded, loaded now, loaded 357 Magnum in his luggage. Loaded 357, getting on the airplane, and I'm thinking, what an idiot. You know, if, if this guy, if it had been cocaine, if it had been cocaine, he would have had a chance then to re-sign with the Yankees. But no! No, no! No! Yesterday was a big day here in New York City. But wait a minute, wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't every day a big day here in New York City? Just for a second there, I dreamed that we did something at rehearsal, but it didn't happen. Uh, yesterday was a huge day here in New York City because anybody get caught in this traffic, a President Clinton, uh, Bill Clinton, the most powerful man in the free world, Bill Clinton, Bubba, Tubby, the president, <laughs> was in town campaigning, and also so was uh, Bob Dole. And interestingly enough, Bob Dole was right around the corner at the stage delicatessen. It was a mob scene. He goes into the delicatessen. People are swarming the guy, asking him for his autographs. Yeah, it turned out later they thought he was Abe Vigoda, but I'm uh, there for a second. It looked like we really had something going along. And uh, Bob Dole, while he was in town, he met the uh, president of Estonia, he met the president of uh, Latvia, and he uh, met the president of Lithuania. Now, these were not scheduled meetings, they just happened to be his cab drivers. So I thought, well, that's like, get that out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, we get a lot of requests from people in the Netherlands, you know, uh, uh, Holland, Amsterdam, that area. They, they say, Dave, do us a favor, can, can we see your tie from time to time? And I'm going to do it for them right now. And I don't, believe me, I don't fully understand this. It's a cultural thing. I'm just going to do it for them now because we get a lot of requests. Dave, Dave, we would like to see the tie. Is that, is that a Dutch accent? Yes. Is that a Dutch? Or that's I, my, last I heard yeah, that's my Dutch. generic foreign accent. Yeah. Dave, we would uh, like to see the tie. Could that's be, Dutch. Could be Panama, could be Paraguay, Absolutely. could be Amsterdam. We don't know. We just don't care. So here now. A little something for you folks looking in there in your wooden shoes, uh, watching in the lowlands. <laughs> what, do think? what do you think, Paul? I, am I am I buff or what? Nah. <laughs> How, how does a guy this skinny also look lumpy? How, do, how does that happen? I, I don't have an ounce of fat on me, but yet I look lumpy, don't I? No, yeah. you're not lumpy. I hope you kids there in the Netherlands enjoyed no. that. Uh, yeah. There you go. That is it when I predict tonight's show is going to be wonderful. I think it's going to be a great show. In fact, I know it for a fact. I predict it's going to be a great show, and I know this because before the program, I called the Hillary Clinton psychic hotline, and she said, yes, sir, Bingo. Hillary said it. It's a big, big story. They're making a big, big, big deal out of this. A new book claims, you know what I'm talking about, that Hillary Clinton goes into some kind of a trance. <laughs> and while the First Lady is in the trance, she talks to uh, former world leaders, and uh, like Eleanor Roosevelt, and it's kind of a cute aside, apparently, 
uh, the first time Hillary contacted Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor put Hillary on hold because she was also getting a call from Shirley MacLaine. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, the White House, of course, is uh, vigorously, vigorously denying now that Hillary Clinton goes into a trance and talked to Eleanor Roosevelt. They're saying it did not happen. It did not happen. It was J. Edgar Hoover in a dress. That's who she contacted, but it was, it was not Eleanor Roosevelt. Did not happen at all. And Hillary Clinton, while she was in one of these trances, apparently also one day made contact with uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Did you know that? Made contact with Mahatma Gandhi. Although the conversation, they didn't really have much to talk about. Uh, Gandhi just kept saying, has your husband tried Slim Fast? Has your husband <laughs> tried the Slim Fast? Has your... That's what he... Gandhi. Ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you of one thing. Indianapolis drinking water is safe. <laughs> See, when I was a kid, we used to go out to uh, Victory Field where the Indianapolis Indians would play baseball. And for years and years, that was a billboard down the right field line. A guy in an umpire suit. Indianapolis drinking water is safe. <laughs> I wish I could tell you that also was requested from the Netherlands, but it wasn't. It just rolled into my mind. Oh, man, tonight's show is so good. I don't, I don't even know if it should be televised. It's just that damn good. <laughs> On the program this evening, a fine man, uh, a great star, and an old friend of ours, Bruce Willis. Who's <laughs> he hates that. <laughs> the governor, the governor, a revered politician, a revered public servant, a wonderful woman from the neighboring state, the Garden State, right across the Hudson. You've seen it. You've heard about it. You've read about it on, you've read about it. You've seen it. You've, Christy Whitman is on the program this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Christy Whitman making her first appearance with us. And Jimmy Buffett. Now is a good friend. something as a young boy as a lad of like eight or nine years old that makes a very strong positive powerful impression on you when you know that the water you drink each and every day in your hometown the water you need for survival and sustenance that water when it's certified and okay and given the thumbs up by a minor league umpire well then you know you can rest easy Safe. <laughs> minor league umpire <laughs> Minor league umpires have tested the water of Indianapolis and determined that it's <laughs> Oh, gosh. I was watching uh, CBS News last night with, uh, what's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dan Rather, thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, they were showing uh, video footage uh, highlights of uh, Bob Dole was in town yesterday, also uh, President Clinton. I thought this was odd. I think this happened once before. Didn't we see this once before? I think, President yeah. Clinton, whenever the motorcade true. comes through town... They go right down Broadway, right by the Ed Sullivan Theater. Here, look what happens. Watch this. I saw it on the CBS Evening News. There's the motorcade. A couple of guys, a guy on the left there, that's Ed uh, Timmons. The guy on the right is John Simon, I believe. There is Secret Service guys. Now, there's flash dancers. Look at this. They go right inside there. There they are. Now, watch. Just wait what happens here. Watch. Now, watch. Just watch here. Watch. Now, and now look. Look at this. Is this the way you want the President of the United States? Do you think? We got together a board of minor league umpires from around the Midwest, and they have determined <clears throat> that you're drinking water. <laughs> Eight or nine years old, it makes a powerful sure, impact on sure, a kid. You you never it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Tuesday night. Here's a little something we do on Tuesday night. It's a little thing we call, tell what we call this, news in review. Here we go. It's the late show news review. Tell us me, you. No news, what? 
stop last Tuesday, a room full of apple farmers fled in terror when Bob Dole tried to smile at them. That would happen on Tuesday. Uh, Yasser Arafat and Muammar Gaddafi had an unexpected uh, reunion on Sunday when they ran into each other at Macy's summer linen sale. At a press conference on Monday, Hillary Clinton was delighted when she was asked a question by the ghost of Eleanor Roosevelt. Uh, here we see a basketball fan is showing off the power more he bought at a Shaquille O'Neal garage sale. Uh. Uh, Bob Dole emphasized his uh, tough stance on immigration last uh, Tuesday by going to the border and yelling at Mexicans. Hey, hey you. Hey, you Mexicans. Hey, you Mexicans. Get away from the fence. But what about that guy, ladies and gentlemen? What, what about, about that, that guy? guy? Right, what's he doing? Yeah, and, yeah, and, but what about that oh, guy? Yeah. It's well, a comedy piece within a comedy piece. It's a little something we call, but what about that guy? <laughs> Uh, on Wednesday, an Iranian technician demonstrated a new computer system that will allow Muslim radicals to download nude photos of Salman Rushdie. Here, yeah, look at that. Uh, see, now, this particular photo, you can't play, but what about that guy? Right. There's only one guy in there, no you know what I'm saying? All right, all right. So maybe we'll get lucky on the next one. You just never know. Hey, hey, it's a crapshoot, okay? Uh, last week, uh, Amtrak announced uh, more budget cuts. Here is the new Washington to New York Metroliner service. I can't really play it on that one either. Easy crap. Get up, does it, got it, let it do. At a Judiciary Committee meeting Thursday, Senator Orrin Hatch held up the stack of FBI files that President Clinton requested on the cast of Baywatch. <laughs> cast of Baywatch. On the cast of Baywatch. <laughs> Bob Dole delighted reporters on Monday by playing Guess Who's Going to Lose the Election. I just want to tell you one thing, because the governor is on here tonight, and there was talk earlier that maybe she was on a list of potential running mates for uh, Bob Dole, yeah. former Senator Bob Dole, wants to be president. And I'm just thinking to myself, you know, we've made a lot of jokes about Bob Dole, and I myself made jokes about he's old and he's cranky. And Clinton keeps screwing up. Clinton screws up two or three times a week. The, the points in, in the poll just keep getting higher and higher. The more he screws up, the more popular he is, you know? It's like the Three Stooges, you know, that kind of thing? <laughs> So I was just, oh, no, I'll save it for when she's coming out here. I have, I have the way he can win the election. What? I'm not going to tell you now. I'll tell her when she comes out here. Oh. I, can, I can now, I will be able to tell her how Bob Dole can turn this whole thing around. Great. Right. I'll just wait. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> and finally, President Clinton began Thursday's budget meeting with a two-hour description of Demi Moore and the movie Striptease. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get to play another round of, but what about that guy? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fine, a fine television program for you. Bruce Willis, Christy Whitman should come out here. I'll tell Christy, she can tell the senator how he can win the election. And Jimmy Buffett. Come on back when you're done watching out. Willis is on the show. Fine actor, great man, very nice, nice guy. He's a great guy. Of course, married to uh, his ca counterpart, uh, one of the biggest uh, sexual. Oh man! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> one of the biggest. No, I came out wrong. What I was going to say his sexual counterpart. Oh, is that what you? What I tried to say, and it came out one of the biggest sexual. Yeah. Who the hell knows where that was going? <laughs> It'll be fine. Just relax. I'll take care of it. No, all right. Uh, 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 Christy Whitman, uh, uh, and by the way, there's nothing in it for me. You know, I don't care who wins the election. I, you know, I'm bipartisan. It just don't make any difference to me. Either it can be Bill Clinton or it can be Bob Dole. But I, when, you, when you're right about something, you know how that is, Paul? When you're right, you, you want to share it with people. Yeah. Now, here's, here's what uh, Bob Dole has. All that. One commercial, one campaign commercial. This is all it has to be. He's, hey, Peppy. Yeah. It's me, Bob Dole. That's right, I'm old, I'm cranky. But listen to this. I'm a decorated war hero, and nobody's suing my ass for sexual harassment. <laughs> Bang! That's, That's it. it. That would put him over. That's it! I hear that. I agree. All, everything. That's all he needs. 
if he if he would do that, at, at first people would look at it and say, what, what, man, geez, he is nuts. After you've seen that, like 200 times, pretty soon you're starting to recite it at breakfast, you know, just over and like over it. and over. Sooner or later, it's going to make a dent, it'll make sense yeah. to you. And to mark my word, just watch uh, uh, Bill, President Clinton, we'll just watch him starting to get puffier when that happens. <laughs> And, you know, it's nothing in it for me. You know, take that and run with it. Have fun with it. I don't care. But, you know, when you're right about something, you're right you're about right, something. You're right, you're right. Yeah, exactly. There's a little something I learned from my dog years ago. <laughs> uh, also on the show, Jimmy Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, here in my left hand, let's go top ten. Let's go. You know. Your sexual counterpart, one of the biggest actresses in Hollywood. That's what I meant, of course. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, category tonight from the home office in uh, Wahoo, Nebraska. Uh, top ten things overheard during Bob Dole's visit to New York City. <clears throat> Number ten, I've loved New York ever since I helped buy it from the Indians. Number nine, uh, Senator Dole, if you insist on feeding all the pigeons, we'll be here for a month. Number eight, I'm not stealing his watch, I'm taking his pulse. You see, this is just the kind of thing I'm talking about. And number seven, it's a thousand dollar a plate dinner and all we get are strained vegetables? What the hell is that? And number six, I didn't know hookers gave a senior citizen discount. Number five. In your honor, in your honor, we've hooked up the Statue of Liberty's torch to a clapper. Number four. Uh, the ghost of Eleanor Roosevelt, I'm sorry, you must be looking for the Clinton fundraiser across town. Uh, number three, wow, Howard Stern just got Bob Dole to kiss another guy. Number two. I may no longer be a senator, but rest assured, I'm still cranky old bastard. Still a cranky old bastard. And the number one other thing overheard during Bob Dole's visit to New York City, forget the chalk body outline, he's just taking a nap. The key, the key is the opening line. Hey, Pedro, it's me, Bob Dole. Oh, Pedro? Yeah, hey, Pedro, it's me, Bob Dole. Sure I'm old, sure I'm cranky. Yeah. Boom, you're off and running. Right. Exactly. Right uh, our first guest is, uh, without a doubt, one of the biggest sexual people we know. <laughs> this, this, guy, this guy screams big sex. <laughs> is that on the card? That's right. He said, oh, it's right here on the card, really? sure. Uh, he is an honest to goodness movie star. We're always very, very happy when he makes time in his busy schedule to drop by as a new film entitled Last Man Standing. It opens in September. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Big Sex himself, Bruce Willis. Hey, Bruce. You look like you look like summer personified. You got that blonde hair thing going. You look relaxed, happy, ready to go. Dave? Yeah. Laughing on the outside, <laughs> crying on the inside. Sorry. It was a slip of the tongue. Believe me. Oh, not even. I'm not even talking about that oh. because she is one of the biggest sexual items in, in Hollywood uh -huh. today. No, Whoa. no, I'm talking about something serious. I, well, what happened? I got some bad news. I got no. some bad news. Uh, when was it? Last night, night before? Big strip tease premiere, right? Oh, sure, yeah. Starring yeah. Demi Moore, Burt Reynolds, yeah. Bruce Willis. Guess what? What? Cut out of the picture. No! Yes. You're not in the film. And, and nobody bothered to tell me until I go to the big screening, the big <laughs> oh, thing, right? You must, have, you must have been crushed. Laughing on the outside, crying on the inside. <laughs> yeah, well, they have to. Let sometimes. me tell you something. Now, I, I understand sometimes they say the film's too long. They right. cut, you know, this scene out, this scene out. I just want to show you. I want to leave it up to you and the okay. audience here All tonight right. whether I should have been cut out of this picture. Oh, so you had the footage I have, that was I, cut I have out. some of the stuff that I you did got it from in, the studio. in strip TV. Did you talk to your wife about this? No, I will, though, later. Okay. Um, All right. <laughs> so what we're going to look at, uh, you, when you go see the film Strip Tease with uh, Bruce's uh, wife, to me, you, you won't see this. You will not see these scenes. But it was supposed to be in the film. Nobody told Some you. of my best work. All right, here we go. Roll it. Bruce Willis, strip tease.
Laughing on the outside, yeah. crying on the inside. Now, I understand they said the film's a little long, they took that scene out, but I want to tell you something. They cut a scene out that I think is some of my most honest, sincere work to date. Forget Pulp Fiction, forget 12 Monkeys. This is some of my best work, and they took it out of the picture. And well, I, I in think a, we have in a, addition in to addition that? In addition to this, there's, there's a whole storyline. That guy you saw goes on to become yeah. a big part of the film. I think we have some tape. Can we? All right, so some? this, again, additional footage not seen, not seen in, in strip piece. Cut out. Here we go. Roll it. <laughs> That's little, why I'm laughing on the outside. A little something the for the viewers in the Netherlands, right there. <laughs> Help you folks enjoy that man alive. And then there was I and what looked like Al Roker. Was that Al Roker? That was Al. See Al there in the crowd. Un uncredited performance. <laughs> yes. he, didn't, he didn't take any credit. You, at all. man, you have guts, Bruce. Man. Jeez, you have. That's I can unbelievable. See it, I can see it now. They're going to be saying, you know, whatever happened to you know Bruce Willis? He had a big career. <laughs> I'll take Bruce Willis to block, please. No, no, no. And just king right in the right in the zoomer there. Now he's wearing a bikini <laughs> and pretending to be in his wife's movies. Uh, and tell me about the hair. What do you got going on with their I hair? I just finished a film in in London called The Fifth Element with uh, Luke Besson. It'll be out uh, next year. Now The Fifth Element. I'm told the you can't element. tell us what this is all about. I could tell you, but tell I, us. I, I'd have to kill you. No, no, no it's, it's <laughs> shrouded in secrecy. Shrouded in secrecy. Yeah, but seriously, what's it about? It's um, it's about you, the 24th century in New York City. Are you solving crimes? Solving crimes. Fighting uh, bad guys? Solving crimes. Uh, funnily enough, uh, Bob Dole is still running for president. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> How's the family? How's everybody? Good. Some bad news at home, though. What happened? Bad news at home. Well, we um, remember a couple years ago I showed you a clip of those little dogs that my wife has? Yeah. We lost Tony. Oh, I'm sorry to get We lost little Tony. Uh -huh. uh, passed away or just misplaced him? Uh, well, <laughs> passed away, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really My sorry wife is really, is really shook up about it, and, and for the last two weeks now, we've been trying to channel Tony, and... <laughs> Good news, though, we, we got a hold of Sniffy, Eleanor Roosevelt's dog, <laughs> who... Very good. Apparently has some word or some very connection good. to well, Tony. That's so. very nice. I'm glad to hear we'll that. <laughs> we got uh, to pause for a commercial. You know, the governor is here. One of my best yeah, friends. Yeah, we'll be right back with Bruce Willis. For Aaron Grant. I'm in a pretty bad custody fight. The only way to get out of a tight spot. It's going to cost me $15,000 for this appeal. Is to get in the spotlight. I still get nauseous before I have to go out there. Castle Rock Entertainment presents Cream Corn Wrestling. No. Demi Moore. You are Mrs. Grant? No, I'm Barbara Bush. Strip teams. Who is here? George Bush. At theaters Friday. You look like you might be traveling with Jimmy. You look like a Jimmy Buffett roadie, for heaven's sakes. Wasted away in Margaritaville yeah. for years, Dave. I don't have to <laughs> I tell you. you did. Yes, I was. Uh, you know, but when the, when the governor comes out, doesn't that sound like an excellent idea? You get a group of minor league umpires to endorse the drinking water of the city or state or community you're in. I think it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Yeah. You know, Tell me about this. How about it, folks? Man, look at this family. What a, you, I'm telling you, you are living the American dream. Living large. Right? My daughter, my daughter, Rumor, who was also in the movie, mm -hmm. didn't cut her out. No. She, she, she's out she's the in picture. the movie with, uh, oh, we can play. With, but what about that guy? We can play that, that guy. That. That nope. guy. Now, we're missing a daughter, aren't we? Yeah, she, um, Lula was not able to see the, uh, the movie. Uh -huh. not, not in front of the six months. This is Scout. This is little Scout Aru. How cute are these kids? Back there, uh, Are they going to be movie stars, too? Is that what's going to happen? You know, only if they get to work with their mom. They, they really only are allowed to work with mom. Yeah, but, uh, but what, what if somebody said, you know, I saw your kids. They look great. I want to put them in a commercial or a movie. What would you say? Would you say, well, that's well, for better. the right price. I mean, ah! like, like money. Okay, now we know the deal on your hair, Bruce, yeah. but look at you. Look yeah. at how cool this guy is. You're just nothing but cool. You're like cool you know all day long, aren't you? You know what? You know, people call me up, and I have a... I have a um, 
a, uh, a 900 number now. <laughs> that, uh, uh -huh. I'll give people tips. So guess who called? Who's that? President of the United States. Is that right? President yeah. Clinton called? President Clinton called me. What, looking for some help on being cool? Coolness, cool yeah. tips. Right. I told him, shave the hair. I said, buzz it, get the, get the haircut. Uh -huh. So you may see him in the next few weeks up. with the... All right, you know? so now this is what you have done to you, yourself. Now, what, yeah. what has your wife done here with this hair? She's having some problems. She had... Uh, <laughs> bad conditioner? Through, bad conditioner. She's going through a little too much, um, too much product, as we say. <laughs> Show business too much product in it. No, she's doing a movie now. Uh, it, it, it used to be called uh, G.I. Jane. Why am I promoting my wife's movies? What it's a very nice thing for you to do. Thank it's a very nice thing for she's you to do. It's a damn decent these, uh, thing. It may be the only decent thing you've ever done in your life, Chris. Have you spoken to John Goodman lately? <laughs> Have you talked to John? Because I'm looking John. John, I'm looking for you. Give me a call, please. Uh, she's doing a movie but called. Now, wait a minute. What the hell does that mean? Is I'm it? looking for him everywhere. I can't uh, find him. He's supposedly last seen with. Uh, who is the Roman Polanski? That's right. They were going to do the Polanski, film in uh, yeah. France, yes. And then something happened. And uh, <laughs> have to talk to him. John, if you're watching tonight, please don't judge me for that performance. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm looking for John. Um, is, it, is this really the only reason you came on the show? That. Well, you know, you've always been kind enough to have a kind of celebrity bulletin board here on the show. That's right. Well, well, you know. get some hot soup before you leave, too. <laughs> and if you need a place to sleep, come on back. Uh, but uh, now, now tell me about uh, your wife is always working. You're always working. Always working. When, when do you guys ever actually get together at, to be a family? And for how long are we talking about? Do you, do you go away? Do you get to spend, like, uh, months at a well, time Well, you know, together? we were just in Florida. I was just in Florida, um, in Jacksonville, Florida. It's nice down there, Jackson. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. 148 degrees. <laughs> I saw a dog explode. I was, I was driving, dog exploding dog, man. Was driving down there, and I got so lost. I was I was on my way to Miami. I got on 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 you know 95. If you've ever uh -huh. been down there, it's it's really confusing. Um, what else did I see down there? I saw an alligator. Went to an yeah. alligator farm. That was big. Excuse me, just a minute, Bruce. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alex Trebek, if you're watching, get get in touch with me. I need to talk to you, Alex Trebek. It's about don't. You can call me at home. Call me after the show, or I'll I'll call you tomorrow, Alex. If you're if you're anywhere out there, Alex. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm you know sorry, what? Bruce. I didn't mean to. That's interrupt. what's so great about the Late Show because you can come on if you haven't seen some of your friends for a while. You can get in touch with him. I, last right. time I was here, I was looking for Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny gave me a call the next that's day. Well, that's the good. next day. Made man. a love connection. That's nice to hear, Bruce. Um, the, big, the big movie for you is uh, Last Man Standing. Last Man Standing. It's a gangster movie. Mm -hmm. gangster Very intriguing picture. title. Very intriguing title. Uh, it's, uh, have you ever, in, these, in the you know, gangster films where it says Jericho, population 750, sure. yeah. last scene of the picture? is me erasing 750, <laughs> putting zero up there. Wow. Kill everyone Cleaned in the movie. House. Kill everyone in the movie. Uh, you want to hang around and say hello to the governor? And I would love to, okay, but we got to just... uh, We got to whatever, sure. Uh, we got to do it. <laughs> you, you need somebody to pick up your laundry now? <laughs> somebody pick up his laundry. We'll be right back. <laughs> Arkansas. I'm going to bring the governor out. Feel free to hang around. But One of my favorite you politicians know the on the planet. Okay, good. We'll see what she says about you. <laughs> After uh, just two and a half years in office, our uh, next guest has become one of the most prominent and admired elected officials in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the governor of the state of New Jersey, the Honorable Christy Whitman. Christy! <laughs> It's interesting to me that uh, in all the time that I've been here, all the time that you've uh, been in New Jersey and the area, we've not met before, and it's a great pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you very much for coming I'm over. I'm delighted to be here. And how is close that loop. How is the uh, the job? And because we, you know everybody wants to be governor. You know I wanted to be governor. Paul wanted to be governor. But it, it's they a should. whole different deal than when you get to be governor. All of a sudden it's like, okay, you're the governor. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot of fun. Is it fun? It is fun. It's great fun. The only thing is, one of the things you do is you get to really promote the state. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I love New Jersey, and it's great. I can do all my kayaking and everything I love to do in this state. It's a great state. 
But I often have to fight off the misperceptions that I hear about New Jersey, especially from this side of the river. And Dave, I have to tell you, I'm a little bit concerned. I saw this. All right, let's see. And Take a look at this. No, it's... There. Okay, it's a picture of me, and there's the Hudson, and there's New Jersey, right over there. New Jersey. Now, the only thing I have to ask is... It was is only closed, closed for a couple of days. I mean, was, you know... They, had to, they closed... You were probably out of the country, and they closed it, just, you know, tidying it up a bit. Uh, and why is it that people over the years... Well, first of all, have you ever been to the original Jersey? Yes, I have, actually. What, what is that like? It's not as nice as our New Jersey. <laughs> where it's is, wonderful, but not as where nice. Where is Jersey, the it's original Jersey? Of England. Yeah, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's... It's beautiful, but... As with most of England, which is one of, the, I have to say, one of the most beautiful countries in the world, because we did live there for a period of time, uh, the climate mm -hmm. drives you nuts. Really, a lot of rain, a lot, a lot of, of fog, rain, a lot of, a lot of fogs. Yeah. Not like not enough exits. <laughs> yeah, not enough hey, exits. You're a Jersey boy. You have to be nice. Yeah, now, you know he's a Jersey boy. I am from New Jersey. This is a Jersey Excellent. boy, and he has to be nice about it. Give us a, an, it's darn nice of him to take his hat off in the presence <laughs> of the governor of the state. <laughs> The late show. Uh, give us an idea of what your day is like. What do you do when you, when you like, uh, for example, today or tomorrow? You get up in the morning, you have breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? Start us off with the breakfast. What do you have? Oh, gosh, as much as I can. I love it. <laughs> this is a big, uh, big fan of breakfast. I'm well, a big fan of breakfast, but I usually only get a couple, some toast and uh -huh. uh, tea and stuff. But then today, for instance, I had a really good day. I had some meetings in the Newark office, and then I got to go play Top Gun with some narcotics officers. We did some busts on a... We, was a dramatization, as it were, of a drug bust, which I went in with the uh, officers in order to see how what they face when they right. go into a house. So now, was this, was this for your information, or did they invite you to come along? Or did it's a it... training exercise mm -hmm. that the prosecutors' offices officers do with the narcotics officers. And they take the governor they, out when they're making drug busts, and they say, they, yeah, well, I'm good it, at would, well. it would mean a lot to the crooks, uh, Christine, if you could come <laughs> up. They would love to see the governor. When you kick in the door, it mean a great deal to the junkies. It, actually, <laughs> I have to tell you that that's probably right, because then we went and did a simulated, we worked on the, the FATS, which is a gun video arcade-like thing with mm -hmm. the gun gun situations, and they did three different scenarios with me. And I took the perpetrators out every time, but Good they were all you. men, and I took them out in a place that means there's not going to be any more criminals from uh, them. Everybody got very nervous. They, it just, it happened. I didn't do it on purpose. I just, that's where it ended up. New Jersey is the Garden State. Did you know New that? New Jersey is the Garden is State. The garden you state. should know the Garden State now. We, you know, we, we spent a lot of time in the Garden State, as a matter of fact. New Jersey has always been very, very good for us. We go over there and have a lot of fun. And you know what I noticed? Re regardless of the community we're in, we were just in uh, Lodi, mm -hmm. Lodi, a couple of days ago. People are very, very nice. They're always very, very nice to us. So I, I'm very gratified by that behavior. People are nice in New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. So they're even nice people in New Jersey. What is the population Jersey? of New Jersey? It's almost 8 million. And the capital? It's Trenton. Yeah. I know it. I know it. <laughs> now, should we go through How Connecticut? How embarrassing was that name? It was uh, 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 What was it? Tell me a little bit about Bob Dole. What was going on there? About six weeks ago, all of a sudden, Bob Dole's got a list of uh, prospective running mates. Bob Dole does not have a list. <clears throat> Your name was mentioned in that context. What happened? Well, how did you react to that? How did you feel about that? Well, for a while, it was great because it got me into places and to see people who wouldn't have seen me otherwise. So mm -hmm. it was great for the state of New Jersey because I could go and promote New Jersey. But then it started to get in the way because everything I did, they said, well, I'm just doing that for a vice presidential aspiration. So right. I finally decided it was time to say, nope finish the end, I mean it when I say no, yeah. even though I've been saying no. Now, this is fascinating to me because you uh, know politics as well as anybody practicing today. Uh, is that a good move uh, to become the vice president on a ticket? Is that a good move for somebody, or is that just uh, the ticket to oblivion? Oh, it can, it can be a very good move. I mean, there are a number, in recent history, it's become better because you've seen a lot of vice presidents. If that's what you want in mm -hmm. life, I love what I'm doing. Right. I love my job. I, so is there I any chance the that, that you would join a me. ticket like that when your no. term's up in New Jersey? I'm going to be here. I have made the promise that I will not run for any other office other than governor until the end, at least through this millennium. Mm -hmm. So that's roughly so I'm here well, for this millennium. the next two or three years. <laughs> that's the way it works out. <laughs> shot here? Absolutely. Do you like Bob Dole? I do like Bob Dole. Th this guy uh, represents uh, you and the, the party, you think, pretty well? Yep. Yeah. I think he's a person who'll get things done, and he's a man of his word. And, and is he going to win in November, or is he going to get crushed? No, no. I think he's going to win. Yeah. I think it's going to be surprising. Yeah. A lot, lot of time between now and November. Yeah, absolutely. Many, many, many things could happen. All Have you ever talked to the uh, ghost of anybody? You ever going to a seance? <laughs> 
I figured, though, that that's, you know, I've always been wondering, the governors go to Washington every year, yeah. and at the winter time, we have a National Governors Association meeting, and there's always a dinner at the White House, and it's always, the last three years, it's been on Super Bowl Sunday night, and we always go, and we go, we have to be there at 6.30 or something, so we miss the kickoff, we miss the beginning of the game, and the Clintons don't come down until about... Have, we've been oh, there for an hour or so, and then maybe yeah. they're working the Ouija board no. or reading files <laughs> or, or maybe watching and a game. I mean, we'd rather watch the game. Is what he's doing here. I'm told that one of, one of the things that you do for enjoyment and recreation is ballroom dancing. Do you, you like to dance a little My bit? My husband and I love to dance. You, would you mind dancing with me a little bit? I don't know much about dancing. I would be I'll show honored. you everything. Paul, here we go. Uh -oh. Me and the government. The first time I've the governor of the state of New Jersey. She's lovely. Wonderful woman. I she? wish you to dance with. Very nice. Good. And, you know, I think about the governor, you know what I think? I, I think maybe she likes me. Well, I know. I could, I could detect a little yeah, something. Let's take a look at this picture again. Here's the big, this is the Hudson River. There's New Jersey over there. That's the billboard. Now, what's odd about this, and I didn't pick it up at the time, you see that car? That's me. That's you there? That's me. I'm going about 120 right there. <laughs> On my way home. Uh -huh. Yeah. I pass it every day, too. <laughs> I just look up at it, I give a little prayer. All right, Paul, we're done. We're done. Thank you. <clears throat> I pray. I okay, say. thank you very much. Pass it. And I oh, do you? Good. Look Good. I'm like glad that. we can provide you some inspirational moments on your drive yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Van Dyke will be here tomorrow. Luke Perry and the Fugees will be right back with Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> performers. He has just released his 28th album entitled Banana Wind, and it's been in the top 10 for the last two weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is again, Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy! <laughs> Yeah. 
Novelist style, stout sailor's legs. 